Hello, and welcome to Nicodemus. This is a crude introduction to what it is like to use a cat head. This is also sometimes called a cat stand or a windlass. It is a wonderful device that allows an operator to lift hundreds of pounds by using a rope but with very little effort. However, the traditional cat head has proven to have some problems. One is that the operator needs to watch the machine and also to watch the load being raised at the same time. This means looking up and then looking down and back and forth and sometimes the operator misses something. Sometimes things happen. Well, that was not blood. This time. Because yeah. there are multiple ways that the traditional cat head allows things to happen, multiple modifications must be made to prevent such accidents. We call our product the safety cat. In our version of how it should be done, the operator stands to the side of the machine and pulls down on the rope. This makes it easier to keep track of what he is doing and what is going on with the load at the same time. The operator cannot drop the load by releasing the rope if this is done intentionally or unintentionally. This modification means that the operator does not need to look down to watch the cat head, which in turn allows the operator to pay better attention to what is going on with the rest of the job. It is also more intuitive because the procedure is much the same as pulling up something with a rope without using a cat head. In the usual arrangement, the rope is wrapped around a rotating cylinder. When the operator pulls on the rope, this increases friction causing energy to be transferred from the cylinder to the rope. The load may be raised or lowered while the cylinder is turning. This works quite well and such devices have been in use for hundreds of years. Because we need to get work done, we have continued to use a simple version of cat head. But using a hand over hand method, it is possible to miss grabbing the rope. The fact that we raise hundreds of feet of rope in a day increases our exposure to risk. There are many other ways to have an accident with a cat head. One of the other accidents that we did not demonstrate happens when the cat head becomes too hot and melts the rope. This is usually the result of holding a heavy load while the cat head is turning, but may also happen in other circumstances. And there are other ways to deal with this, but our remedy is to simply make a machine that will not allow the rope to slip while it is raising a load. The variable speed of the safety cat is controlled by linkage that is operated by the pull on the rope. As the operator pulls on the rope, the cylinder turns. As the operator stops, the cylinder stops. If the operator pulls faster, the cylinder turns proportionally faster. So the feel of operating a safety cat is essentially identical to operating a conventional cat head. The amount of pull is adjustable and is set at about 10 pounds in this demonstration. The eccentric wheel prevents the rope from traveling in the opposite direction. A pedal must be pressed in order for the operator to be able to lower the load. That 
At this stage of development, the safety cat would deal effectively with accidents while raising the load, but lowering the load was awkward and lacked a comfortable amount of control. This has resulted in another of the multiple modifications. The linkage was changed so that instead of allowing the rope to slip on the cylinder to lower the load, the pedal now allows the cylinder to also turn in the other direction. This in turn has required another modification we call the bi-directional anti-fouling device. When raising a load, the rope will tend to pile up or become fouled next to where the rope comes onto the cat head. When turning in the opposite direction, the same problem happens at the other end of the cylinder. The anti-fouling devices that are commonly used on traditional cat heads will not work like we need. Of the several ways we considered to accomplish this, we decided to use a simple arrangement that uses pins to separate the turns of rope. The pins and turns of rope are installed in alternate fashion as is demonstrated in the video. Now the cylinder may turn in either direction and the turns of rope will remain separated. This anti-fouling device works if the cylinder is rotating slowly or at a more comfortable speed. Maximum up and down speeds may be adjusted individually from 0 to about 80 feet per minute. While the pedal is pressed, the rope may be released. The load does not free fall, but continues down at that pre-adjusted maximum rate. We have found four basic ways to have an accident with a cat head. One is that the rope may come off of the cat head. Two is that the rope becomes fouled. Three is that the cylinder becomes too hot. And four can happen when there are too few or too many turns of rope on the cylinder. The present design of the safety cat deals with all four types of accidents. There are many other ways to have an accident that are away from the cat head. The rope may become overloaded and cause to break. The safety cat cannot prevent all accidents, but can help with some of these other types. The maximum pull may be adjusted to cause the machine to quit pulling if that maximum is exceeded. If the load is a person being raised and a foot becomes caught, the safety cat will stop before the operator is aware that anything is wrong. The hydraulic machine in this demonstration shows how the production safety cat will work. It does not show what it will look like. The machine in this demonstration weighs 600 pounds. The production version will weigh about 200 pounds and may even be mounted on the bumper of the vehicle. It may be powered by AC or by 12 volts DC. To make it easier, components may be installed and removed as lighter modules. It will look something like this mounted on the bumper of a vehicle. Some or all parts may be stored in the back during transportation. Thank you.